Maddie Smith. All right, I feel really bad roasting John because Fight Club is all he has. <laughs> Other than nine pairs of his sister's panties. <laughs> two 30 second rounds, which is uh, kind of flexible. If people are doing well, I may let them say an extra joke. If they're doing badly, I tell them they have one more at 15 seconds. Um, but it's uh, two timed rounds. Audience applause determines the winner. So I think uh, we've had people who uh, were at our old venue watching us who come to our new venue. I think uh, the crowd is a character and a part of the show because they pick the winners for each fight. And after two rounds, if we're tied one round apiece, we go to a sudden death overtime, which is just one joke back and forth. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for God's first draft. <laughs> In case you didn't already know, the name of Crespo's disability is called Hispanic. <laughs> People don't realize that Chris is Cuban. I mean, I thought he was Pakistani because he looks like he got caught stealing from there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever, fuck it. Uh, the difference between facile set and hate speech is that audiences pay attention to hate speech. <laughs> <laughs> Vassal is Muslim, which means he prays three times a day that the women that he brought home last night don't press charges. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christopher Crespo. I'm the comedy fight club mascot. And uh, yeah, that's we, we fight him out and we see who wins. Uh, as the mascot, I uh, I represent all of the fighters that come into our arena. I love coming back to Comedy Fight Club to see who is more crippled than I am in every single way. <laughs> I, uh, I get excited about it, but no, I, I also get excited to see really great fights and uh, see who's going to come out on top and, and really work hard. and. Uh, I, uh, I especially like the guys that really put in the effort week in and week out. <laughs> me, me and Mikey both have moms who have passed on. Mine passed on Valentine's Day and his passed on raising him. <laughs> I would call you an Uncle Tom, but that would imply you know someone in your family. <laughs> Such a nice dude, even though you have a face that just screams child pornography. <laughs> like you have this look in your eyes that like I haven't noticed before. It's like this sadness of having a bunch of opinions no one's ever gonna ask you. Uh, you come back because you want to do well because it's embarrassing if you don't do well and everyone sees it. So you feel like you have to do well in front of everyone to make them like you. I think we're very welcoming. We have people who shouldn't be doing comedy doing Comedy Fight Club every week. And you know, I think that really says a lot about our character. We embrace people even if they're really bad. So that's, you know, really props to Matt Merritt because I have no tolerance for it, so. I actually started as a fan. I used to come every Sunday and just watch and I would, I remember watching from the back because it was like, it was kind of scary. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe these guys are going at it. But it was so much fun. You could just feel the energy. People were like having a good time and laughing. It was like, it was unlike any show that I've been part of. It was so fucking plain looking. If you were cast in a movie about your life, you would still be an extra. <laughs> uh, when I first saw Steven do stand up, I thought, this guy sucks. <laughs> Passeretti is a very Italian name. 
The only way it could be more Italian is if your middle name was I Hit Women. <laughs> Uh, Sean's a classic Irishman. He always has a smile on his face, a drink in his hand, and a really bad feeling about all the black people here. <laughs> There's the winner of round two, Anthony. reason comics will come out is because a lot of other comedians are going to be here and it's the only way not to feel lonely on a Sunday night for a lot of them. Vanetta, I thought, God damn, I didn't know Steve Urkel was transitioning. <laughs> Vanetta has a face even a mother couldn't love. Her teeth are so yellow they run a dim sum place in her gums. <laughs> Tiago's from Brazil, and he's the only one not affected by the Zika virus, but his kids will look like him. <laughs> Tiago is his wife's bitch because uh, she's from Poland, so her sausage is bigger than his. 